they like spun. Hi right, guys, so Lays ordered sunglasses, right, from this brand that I discovered, well I actually met the person who owns it at the Filipino Pride Parade in New York City a few years ago, and I bought one of their glasses on the streets, and so Lays really likes the wooden frame, so... We have the package here. We're gonna do some unboxing. Although Lathe already opened them. Oh, hello! Welcome. Hello, hello. Look at the vlog. We have a special glass tonight. Guest tonight. Okay, so we're unboxing, and the brand is called Kohoi Collection. And they forge the wood from the Philippines sustainably. Wow, they give you a lot of. Oh wait, no, they give you two. Oh, nice. So they come with cleaning cloth cloths. We ordered two pairs, so there's a cloth each. Two. Noise. And also comes with this little key tool if you need to tighten the screws on the glasses. That's oh 20% discount as well. And then it comes with two cute little bags, little drawstring bags to store your lashes. And here we go. All right, so the first box. Did you try them on already? No. No. Oh. But you looked at them? Yeah. You saw them? Okay, nice. <clears throat> I really like the bamboo. The packaging is super nice, I think. Mm -hmm. Wait, how the heck do you open this? Oh, uh, it's a magnet on the front. Oh, got it. Okay, so this is how it opens. It's got a little flap here. Ta-da. First pair. We don't remember the name of these. We can link the um, the models down below or styles if they're still available because a lot of them sell out really quickly. So first pair we've got kind of like classic Ray-Ban type of style. Wayfair. Wayfair, is that what it is? Are you sure that's not the one who knows pads? Clubmaster. Oh, Clubmaster. He knows the sunglasses. Why am I even doubting him? <laughs> All right, anyway, so it's got this kind of like dark wood. Try it on for the peeps. This is your first time trying them on? Ooh! Wow, those look really good. Honestly, this shade wood goes really well with his beard and hair color. Can you move up a little bit closer? Wow. Turn to side. Nice. That's a good like. That's a good like everyday pair. Mm -hmm. All right. See miles like. Good wood. That's like a different type of wood than the ones I have. You guys should have seen them in the vlog because I've worn them. They've got like the polarized lenses and wooden frames. I always wear them playing volleyball or hiking. Guys, don't worry, it didn't happen. Just didn't hear it, didn't see it, no scratches, it's fine. So curious. This oh, this is cool. Them. Yeah, because it like. I think it might be packable because you can make it flat. I wonder. Look. I don't want to so you could lay it down straight, like in luggage or something. Oh, can you fold it? Oh, you can fold it like this, Lathe. Like that. And you can just like store it maybe in like a little laptop folder in your backpack or between a book. Nice. How do you fold that? Or wait. I was just tucking. I don't know. We'll figure it out. And well, it's not. Yeah. 
All right, then these. So Lathe has a pair like these, um, but so these are, yeah, like a dark wood brown, and then pretty simple. Mm -hmm. Why do I feel like you ordered a different pair? Than those? Or do we, oh no, these oh, were supposed to be black. Work. I thought these were gonna be black. No, we compromised because this is not gonna work. But I don't know if these oh. are the ones I ordered. That's the only thing. Yeah, those. Did yeah. it come with a receipt? Whoa! Looking like a rock star! These are very similar to like the Tom ones. Those are really nice. I think I like those better than the Tom ones. Really? Because it just goes with like your skin tone and the hair. Mm -hmm. That brown matches perfectly. Yeah, I like that this is kind of clear right here. I really can't tell when yeah. I have them on, but. Like dark and yeah. Front and right, and then the lens kind the lens kind of like fades the brown. Okay. It's almost like an amber. Okay. So anyway, we just wanted to show you those. Um, but yeah, there's the little Koi logo. Also got a little like right there. That's a really bad angle, but you get the gist. Go on their website. Gahoy Collection. Let me try a little. We got more bouncing California. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, you go. Yeah, but I don't really like this style. I feel like suits my face better than these. Oh, these are unisex. I don't know. Oh, see those? See, these don't... I can't rock yes, this style. Can. No, I can't. Because look, it makes my eyes look like I'm so saggy and sad. It's like drooping. Kind of. But and I then mean, look, because I have pretty like full cheeks. It's like when I smile, it's like, Hi! Let me just lift them up five inches from my nose. <laughs> see? Oh, they rise up because of your yeah, cheeks? Yeah, because of my cheeks. Oh, because they're not even sitting on your nose. Kind of they are. Oh, I, so had they, they they really I had to push them down. I had to push them down. To yeah. like, and I don't like that. These you these pull them, you can't pull them forward. Oh, because your nose is smaller. It's very small. Doesn't stick out like somebody's. <laughs> all right, all right. Whoa, 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 whoa! They're so slippery because they're new. All right. Anyway, we're gonna go. We wash some stuff we just got home from a beach walk. Met up with an old friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, socially distanced, of course. Yep. Just came up from uh, Texas, visiting yeah. some family. His uh, brother just had a baby. So, yeah. we'll probably see them later on this week, maybe next week, because he's here for uh, two weeks. So, we'll keep you guys posted. Have a good night. Bye. Hi, everybody. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. This morning, we uh, kind of did the similar thing to our last Saturday vlog. Lathe put some hours in, and um, I actually edited part of this video and then we went on a beach walk with hazel and pearl oh do you want to update them on we're on our way to get lunch we're going to pick up food at this place called bonfire grill in milford if you're a local but um do you want to see what happened to hazy baby I'm just to hazel oh yeah yeah, yeah so um earlier this week i guess my uh mom noticed a tick on hazel um, so she ended up getting it off. It took a while. <clears throat> and it was a little more difficult to get off than the ones that have been on Pearl. Because earlier in the year, or maybe closer to last year, um, Pearl had a couple of uh, dog ticks on her. Because my dad was um, walking her, like, in our local neighborhood. But there's a little, kind of like a little creek, sort of, that divides the neighborhood. Um, and he lets her kind of roam in that tall grass area. So she was getting ticks on her. But um, anyway, so my mom sent the tick in to 
be analyzed to figure out what kind of tick it was. And it turns out it was a female deer tick, which the um, female dog ticks, actually dog ticks in general, don't transmit Lyme, but the uh, deer ticks can. So my mom ended up calling the vet, letting him know what was going on. And he was saying there's really nothing you can do. You kind of have to wait. I think it's like two months or six months, six weeks to uh, two months to see if they show symptoms. And then at that point, I think you kind of take them in for maybe treatment. I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, so we kind of wanted to avoid the woods until we figure out what's going on with her. So that's why we ended up going to the beach today instead of um, raising her, instead of where we usually go, out in the woods. Yeah, we didn't think that, based on the timeline, we don't think that she would have gotten the tick when we went hiking. Right, right, yeah. I don't think she did, because it says it takes them like 24 hours to either, I think either engorge. Or... I think it was up to three to four days, actually, oh. for the tick to engorge. Okay, because this one was like pretty big. It was, but then I guess it was the, pretty engorged. Yeah, the dogs um, could start showing symptoms within several days but then the vet that your mom talked to said to monitor symptoms up to a few months yeah i didn't know it was days. seems like a long time well, well i did a quick google search and that's what it said but then the vet said longer so i don't know yeah she, she goes, seems fine yeah so she seems fairly really normal if anything she's uh more relaxed so but not lethargic or anything like that not acting weird still wiggles like crazy um but yeah yeah so what has happened since our last vlog well the video you're watching or the last vlog i just uploaded literally you guys took me i kid you not almost three weeks to upload i had major technical issues huge learning curve but we're back in business hopefully I know I'm going to face challenges moving forward because that's inevitable, but hopefully if I do face an issue moving forward, it does not take that long to resolve it. So we're back, got the momentum going again, here we are, and... Back by popular demand. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the total of eight subscribers of our family and two new subscribers, and who is it, Lace? Uh, to my co-workers. The loyal ones. Adam, Thank you. Adam and Nate. Um. Biggest supporters. Oh, speaking of, Adam suggested me sharing a story that also recently happened. Oh, yeah. So, um, uh, maybe like two, three weeks ago, um, I got an email from my boss on a Monday morning. And it was like, hey, like, I need your help with something. Can you like run an errand for me? And I was like, sure, you know, I mean, it was Monday morning. I was kind of obviously, you know, dreading the day as it is. But uh, I was kind of, I was like, all right, whatever, like whatever he needs. Even though I had had, I think it was a deposition that was uh, at 10 o'clock. So anyway, I said, what do you need? He goes, I need you to get me $500 Google Play gift cards. And I was like, I said, okay, well, you know, I have a deposition at 10, but I'll see what I can do. He's like, well, I need them, like, in, you know, the next, like, 30 minutes, so let me know. I was like, okay. I said, all right, sure. So I sent him an email. I said, all right, we can do it. So I ended up getting the gift cards. I um, went to, like, a local stop and shop, uh, picked them up, and then I emailed my boss, and I said, hey, got the gift cards. Like, you know, what do you need me to do? And he was like, email me the code on the back. And then like scratch it off, or scratch off the back and email me the code. And I was like, that sounds like kind of weird. Like I don't know what he's like talking about. So I was gonna go to his assistant. And on my way upstairs to go talk to his assistant, um, one of my coworkers, Jack, actually um, stopped me. Um, <clears throat> and I was like, hey, that kind of sounds like a scam. And then I was thinking to myself, like, of course it's a scam. Like, how did I not see this? You know, it seems so obvious. Like looking back, I'm like. Why the heck would you want Google Play gift cards? So, <laughs> I ended up um, just telling my boss, telling um, HR, and they ended up reimbursing me, which is nice. So, no harm, no foul. 
but lesson learned, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I'm going to the right place. Can you plug in the destination, please? Because I'm getting confused now. I'm like, should I have taken the oh, left? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Left. Yeah, I would just turn to Where? the streets. Anywhere, I think, because we need to, like, loop back. <clears throat> so we need to be, like, along the water. Yeah, I think we're going along area. So... Yeah, I initially, when he told me, I was like, yeah, 100% scam. And, but then I could see just like putting myself in his shoes because you were like, you know, kind of rushing at the house. You know, you're worrying about the depot. So, yeah. and then you're, you know, no one ever wants to tell their boss like, no. You know, you're like, yeah, I'll go and do it. Whatever you need, whatever you want. Um, so it, I think that the scammer just kind of caught him at the wrong time. Because if you had been like sitting there at your computer, you know, in the office, you probably would have thought, you know, or questioned it more. But because right. you were kind of just like on the go, checking it quickly. But then what also threw me off was a red flag was that the email said like, you know, oh, it's urgent. And like, if it's urgent, he would have called. Yeah. You know, no one, no one sends an email when it's truly urgent. Yeah, most of the communication from him, honestly, is like a text a or a heard, phone yeah. call. Yeah. You know. So just think twice, everybody. <laughs> Watch out. But yeah, luck. Fortunately oh. enough, you were able to get reimbursed. So actually, prior to me getting reimbursed, um, I thought, okay, I'll just go back to the stop and shop where I bought them. Mm. They have a strict policy against returning gift cards. I was like, all right, let me call my credit card company um, and see what they can do. Uh, and they were saying, unfortunately, there's nothing they can do because it's not really considered a fraudulent charge because I actually like authorized the purchase or made the purchase myself. Uh, so then we thought maybe contacting Google, um, but they really can't do anything about it. They just want you to alert them. Um, maybe they do an investigation, but they didn't say anything about reimbursing you for the cards or like trading them in or anything. So then I was like, okay, let me check out, you know, what they have on Google Play that I can buy. You know, maybe it's similar to like Amazon or something, you know. Um, but it turns out for Google Play, it's more like iTunes or like Apple Store. Like a, yeah, iTunes gift card to Apple Store, yeah. It's more of like a multimedia thing than, mm-hmm. you, cause you, you can't buy any like hardware. You can't buy like any phones, tablets. Yeah, yeah like um, if you got an this. iTunes gift card, you couldn't buy like Apple products. You know, it's very specific. Okay. No, you. I said you can't. Oh, you can't. Can't. Yeah. I'm comparing it to that. Yeah. Um. So, then a friend of mine said maybe you could um, trade them. I guess there's a website where you may be able to exchange gift cards, like trade a Google Play gift card for like an Amazon or uh, the Whole Foods or. Or anything. Visa. I, I told him everybody's getting Google Play gift cards for Christmas this year. Yeah. Yeah. Even though we barely know anybody who has that. We know like maybe two people. But it's just, yeah, it's for movies, songs, um, shows. They had subscriptions to certain like apps, but I don't know if able to use the gift card for that mm-hmm. like you might have been able to buy a subscription for like peacock tv or something or yeah movies i don't know what it's like d day zone season i don't know dzn something whatever that was i think you either have fights on it and stuff which would have been cool all right well, we have arrived. We're going to pick up our food. Oh, my gosh. There's a cute little Yorkie. Look at those ears. Uh-huh. That is cute. Hello. It's like Pearl's part Yorkie. No. She looks like the face looks very similar. Yeah, because they're like those small dogs. Well, maybe that dog is part like Maltese or something. Could be. She's part Maltese. All right. So, Lace is going to run inside. Do you have a mask? Uh-uh. Nope. Here you go. Do you have and my wallet? Of course not. I have my wallet. I have my wallet. We'll see you in a bit. Bye. Huh. Got our food, guys. For the fries. Can't say a little. We got the Chick Fil A <clears throat> sauce on fleek. Quinoa burger. 
to put on my Southwest salad. And Leif, what do you got? Um, street tacos. Cod. They look really good. Yeah, with some rice pilaf. Mm. Mexican rice pilaf, I believe. So. Bone apple tea. I'm drinking a little koi, pure. Leif got these koozies for his good friends that just got married last summer. Let's see what we got here. Oh, no uh, lime. They might have already squeezed lime on it, but I don't know if, yeah, they didn't put it on the side. Do you have mm -hmm. any in the fridge upstairs? I'm sure we do. It's all right. Wow, um, this, uh, I'm, guys, this salad. Her, she has nice and soft. Did you like that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 